Greetings and welcome to another Diablo 2 Resurrected video. Today I bring you the Sorceress in a couple of viable ladder starting builds. Uh, we are running a budget gear uh, to resemble what is the gear that you could have when you are running firstly with uh, a new character and have it leveled up to uh, maybe 85, 80 to 85 ish and beaten hell preferably like in a group that makes it way easier but you could also do it alone with some obstacles in the way of course but uh, let's get over to the gear we have a spirit crystal sword we have a lore helmet we have a rare amulet that gives us plus one to sword skills and some all rest spirit monarch shield smoke armor uh, just some random boots with uh, faster run walk and fire resist faster cast trade ring the demon hide sash with resistances and plus life another faster cast ring and uh, this is uh, i think nothing uh, i just uh, put back the triangles because triangles are technically maybe not really budget because at the start of level everybody wants see so they are fairly high in value and technically we don't need it because we are hitting a fairly decent breakpoint with 90 percent faster cast rate so you can put any other uh, gloves that you find maybe something with magic find that will help you out as for the mercenary it would be nice to have an inside mercenary so look out for these four open socket uh, threshers pole arms whatever have you and then also a treachery uh, later on maybe you can before you have a lamb rune give him a smoke armor as well and Tarasha's Mask, but there's also like Crown of Thieves, for example, something with um, Lifestone Hit would be nice. Uh, running it on Holy Freeze right now, you can also choose other ones. You can also choose an Act 1 Mercenary and give it an Inside Bow. It might survive even better at the early stages because it is at range, uh, but just try out and it depends where you are farming with it. As for the attributes, enough strength to equip your gear, um, which is 156 at least for the monarch shield unfortunately and then the rest into vitality if we are going with a energy shield based build then you can put in points into energy if you want to so one of the builds i want to show you is a dual element build um i have frozen orb without really much points to the <laughs> synergy right now so this will give us a source of cold damage is not very high but at least it can deal with um, immunities uh, for example lightning immunities because our second elemental damage here comes from nova and lightning mastery and static field all together gives us a nice chunk of damage this will be our main damage skill and then one point in teleport and one point into warmth and that's already about it so if you go and head on into the current terror zone i think it's yours Let's see, yep, and see how this build performs. Also, we have one point into Frost Armor, of course. Nova also uh, uses a lot of mana. That's why we have an Inside Mercenary. And the more FCR you have, the better Nova becomes. You can also throw out a frost orb at first to freeze them all and here you can see this was a lightning immune unique but it's no problem to deal with it with frozen orb oops wrong button It's a pretty versatile build, it's not super strong, but you can see you can easily farm terror zones with it. Of course, sometimes depending where the terror zone is at. But here, here for example, in the sewers, we don't have any problems whatsoever. And you can decide yourself do you want to bump up your frost orb damage by putting some points in synergy? Or are you sticking with mainly using Nova? And of course, there are other varieties to it. You can just, for example, 
also use lightning instead of Nova and get some points in the synergies. It just has more synergies than Nova. Nova only has static field and of course lightning mastery, which makes it easier for a dual element spec. Lightning needs like Nova, Charge, Bolt, and Chain Lightning, which is already 80 points right there. Other than that, you could also use Frozen Orb together with Meteor or Fireball. Fireball has two other synergies, Fire Mastery, so it gets to a decent amount of damage. Just have that variety, which is a pretty handy early ladder, or to have some tools to deal with monsters and Terrosons, and as soon as you get a Thunder Charm, which can drop at Hell Terrosons, then you can go single elemental spec, especially with cold specs, um, since cold mastery also reduces the enemy cold resistance. And then of course we have another great uh, build, which is the Blizzard build. You may have already heard of this. Blizzard is very, very strong in target farming, uh, for example, bosses, but you can do other stuff with it as well. Uh, and the synergies are Glacial Spike, Ice Blast, and Ice Bolt, and also Cold Master, you put around 14 points, you maybe need some more, some less, depending on your plus skills, and then one point into Frozen Armor, and then Teleport and Static Field, so Warmth also on one point. This is a, a single elemental build, which means uh, we will be struggling against Cold Demons, as long as we don't have a Thunder Charm. As soon as you have a Cold Thunder Charm, you are good to go, and can go anywhere, but the one place this excels at is farming Mephisto. So boss farming, very, very effective in finding new items. Let's find the level three, there it is. You are fairly squishy, so you can mode trick him right here. And if you are like a little bit unlucky like me, then there's a lot of council members. I think I did the teleport a bit wrong. I'm a bit rusty. There we go. Only unfortunate thing, if you're playing with controller, you don't see you don't don't see the health bar of Mephisto. But eventually he will just fall down and you get all the sweet loot. There we go, got the Nash circlet here, and you do this over and over again until you get the loot that you want. It's very, very effective, and a lot of people opt to do this at the start of leather to get the first gear. I think like 50% of people are choosing Sork as the main or as the first leather character, just not only for that reason, but it's one of the strongest build to farm. You can also do Pindle. Very, very fast and effectively, another great farming spot. Did for the Blizzard build, and lastly, I want to show you one of my personal favorites. It is the Enchantress, and we are using the machine, which fires explosive arrows or bolts and also has a piercing attack, which is very, very great, and it um, interacts with Enchant. So the fire damage bonus of Enchant that we have adds up to the explosion, so it's an area of effect. And it also comes with piercing already, but uh, we kind of need to raise a tail to reach that 99%, which would be nice. Uh, right now we are running Lore, Smoke, uh, Rare Amulet, uh, Hasarus, Faster Castrate, Raven Frost, and Trang Ult's Claw. So these are maybe not particularly budget right here. You can also use Kukushukaku at first. It's also uh, and firing explosive arrows and I think Raven Claw is as well. Uh, also brand as a high budget version and infinity would be like chase golds. Skin of the Viper Marky is great, almost ropes, does a lot of work with plus to enchant. And on the second weapon slot we have a memory right here. The mercy right now doesn't have any gear. Um, I just want to show off the enchantress itself real quick here. It's a great build that does a lot of damage. It's fairly squishy right now with the smoke armor. We have okay resistances, but it's not great, especially since we don't have any sort of charms. And I'm also running energy shield right here with the rest of my points here. 12 here and then 15 into telekinesis. 
One point in the Frost Nova can really help. These are fire immune. <laughs> it's a... Uh, well, you're not gonna do anything against fire immunes. Not the best area. So again, like with uh, the cold build or something, if you don't have a fire sundered charm yet, you really have to see what Terrasons can you do. But actually, what I really want to show uh, is cow level. We can find it here real quick because this uh oh, this build is great in the cow level. As you can see here, we do tons of damage. against non-fire immune monsters. The fire on the charm and then flickering flame will greatly enhance your damage. And your mercenary should get an insight in the beginning, because as you can see, we are struggling a bit with mana. Let's go here, open the cow level. Gonna get my um, tome of home portal back. And like these uh, are not hard to get in terms of like value. If you trade for them, they're not really highly sought after. And most people maybe just leave them on the ground, fortunately. Uh, mercenary will most likely die here, but we can actually save him by teleporting. Ah, uh, this was too late. <laughs> Damn it. I am on players in one, I think. Yep. I also use some static, though the radius isn't great. <laughs> well, I'll leave that in. As you can see, it is... It is really squishy. That's the, the, the downside. Like it, it's really hard to not die on this build if you're like low on gear. But once it gets going, it's really, really cool. And if you are careful, but against Might Enchanted, uh, House, yeah, it's pretty difficult. So yeah, there you go. A bit limited in its scope at first before you have like Thunder Charm and um, a Flickering Flame Helmet and more plus to skill gear. But overall, it's it's really fun. It's something different, you know? It's like, oh, I'm a bow sorceress. And I also have Enchant to buff up my group. So that's very cool. But that's it for the uh, last build that I want to show you. So overall, Sorceress, great ladder starter as always, especially since she has teleport and can go anywhere very quickly. She is very squishy though, so you have to stack up on your resistances, get your life uh, vitality in order, maybe stack some energy if you want to use energy shield. But once you get going and you have a nice routine and know what you're doing, like running Mephisto, running cow level, running Pindle skill, whatever it is. You can do it on a fairly very, very budget build. So that's the big advantage of the Sorceress. Uh, if you want to know more about Sorceress budget builds or budget builds in general, check out the videos in the description below. And if you want to know and see more of this kind of content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I see you in the next one. Good luck, have fun and goodbye.